Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Angel Love Tarot. I'm going to do a reading today for Virgo. This will be a love reading. This will be for April 2019. Please remember the timing is flexible and this is a general reading. So if you'd like something more specific, my information is in the description box. This will be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. You can also check out my playlist for my other monthly readings um, and check out your other signs. There may be messages there for you as well. And then finally, if you enjoy my channel or my readings, please subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. That's how I get my feedback. And if you're new to my channel, um, the first half of the reading is the tarot. The second half is the oracle cards. And with the oracle cards, I do a pick an angel reading. So there's three angels here. And you'll pick one of these, and those will be the messages for you. Okay, so the first angel is the masculine angel. Second angel is the baby angel. And then third angel is the feminine angel. Okay. <clears throat> so look at those three angels, see which ones you're most drawn to, and then we'll get to those later. All right, thank you angels and spirit guides for your guidance. Please tell Virgo what Virgo needs to know for April 2019. What messages do you have for Virgo? Please give Virgo clarity and guidance. And healing if needed. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance and wisdom. All right. Let's get three cards, please. What does Virgo need to know? Three cards. There's one. Let's get two more, please. Two more. There we go. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> so Virgo, I feel here in love. Um, I feel here in the past and maybe up until now, um, the present, I feel like there's been some type of delay when it comes to love for you right now, okay? But I feel that that is going to end really soon here with the full card because I feel here um, there is a new beginning coming your way. So either you or this person are going to take a risk um, for a new beginning because the next card that we have is the Ace of Swords. Okay, so this is about new beginning, having clarity, um, you know, having truth in your life. Um, so I feel here definitely there's a new beginning starting for you. Okay, this can be air energy, this can be Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. And let's keep going. <clears throat> All right. Okay. I'm going to cut these cards. Let's cut these cards really quick. All right, thank you, angels and spirit guides, for your guidance. Please tell Virgo what they need to know regarding love for April. Let's get one more card, please. One more card. One more card. That's way too many there. One more, please. There it is. Wow, beautiful cards, Virgo. Okay, so <clears throat> even though there's been a delay, I feel here you're manifesting in your life what you want, okay? Because I feel here you have this beautiful energy of the Empress, okay? And this isn't about male or female. It's about the energy. So I feel here you're in a really good place here where you're actually attracting. You're manifesting and you're attracting newness and goodness into your life here okay so i feel like too you're you might be feeling really creative right now you might be feeling very passionate about um, a new project or some of you may be starting businesses 
<clears throat> some of you may be trying to get pregnant or just found out that you are pregnant here because um, Empress is the maternal mother. All right, and then the next card is the star card. Okay, so beautiful. So this can be an Aquarius too in your life. But this is about wishes coming true, okay? Or this could be about healing. You may have gone through some difficulty in the past. <clears throat> Excuse me, that could be why the delay card showed up, okay? So you may have gone through some healing as well, done some spiritual work there. Um, but perfect here with the Ace of Swords. So I, I feel like your wishes are coming true. I feel like they're coming to fruition. And what i'm feeling here too is i feel like this is um like there's a major shift right now for you okay with the empress card and i talked about the energy with all the butterflies um i don't you know depending on where you live but where i live it just got done raining a lot i mean i was complaining on every video about the weather but um, recently we had sunshine and we have, I live in California and we had, I mean, butterflies everywhere. You couldn't drive anywhere without seeing butterflies. And I'm not talking just one, I'm talking lots and lots of butterflies. So I feel here, <clears throat> I feel like this is a big shift or a big change for you. I feel like the butterfly is symbolizing <clears throat> that you're blossoming, you're blooming, you're set free. I feel like too with the heal with the star card that you've healed through um, some type of recent situation. Okay, but I really just feel like you feel more free, um, and you're just attracting. You're attracting and manifesting um, newness in your life right now. Okay. Excuse me. Okay, so let's keep going. Thank you, angels and spirit guides, for your guidance. Please tell us. Oh, no, I might have spoke too soon because I see there might be some challenges. Let's get one more card, please. One more card for Virgo. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay, so I feel here... Um, some of you may have a lot on your plate, you may have a lot of opportunities, or you just have a lot going on in your life right now. You may be putting out some fires, um, or you may have more than one opportunity. But like I said, I feel like you're manifesting things in your life. So you might be on overload, you know, really manifesting a lot. Okay. Now, <clears throat> with the five of wands here, okay, I, I see that there are some challenges, okay. So, um, I feel for some of you there, you might be having, um, a challenge with getting pregnant. Okay. Or some of you may get pregnant and, um, weren't expecting to get pregnant and that may be a challenge for you. <coughs> Excuse me. And I feel here too, you have um, the two swords. So I feel here there may be, um, said some decision that you need to make here. Okay. Something that you've been thinking about for a while, but just not have not um, taken any steps forward. Okay, with the wands, this could be fire energy, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Okay, and with the cups here, this can be water energy. This can be Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, okay, so very interesting. Earth energy, Virgo has not come out yet, but we'll see. Let's get one more set of cards. Thank you, angels and spirit guides, for your guidance. Please tell us what Virgo needs to know regarding love for April. And let's get one more card, please. One more card. Let's get one more card, please. One more card. That's too many. Thank you, angels and spirit guides, for your guidance. Got one more card, please. One more card. It's like two, but we'll take it. Oh, wow. Okay. 
So I feel here, um, for some of you, you may have um, an Aries on your, on your mind here with the um, Temperance card, okay? Um, some of you, um, you know, maybe wanting to uh, work on a relationship with this person, okay? For others, um, I feel like this might just be about, um, like I said, some of you may be starting a new business. You may have a lot of opportunities, okay? Um, also, too, this can be about um, someone in your life not being able to express how they feel to you, okay? And I feel with this situation, you're really focused on this, okay? And I feel like this is what your challenge is here with the Five of Wands. Okay, so I feel here you're really focused on whatever this challenge is, okay, that has been brought before you. And it may be that this person's not expressing how they feel to you and that um, is not sitting very well with you, okay? Um, for others, like I said, this might be about a new business, okay, that you're very focused on. Um, but I feel here with the Two of Swords, like I said, I feel like there's a decision, okay? I feel like this decision is about um, possibly ending a relationship here, okay? Because we have the Ten of Swords and we have the Tower here. <coughs> Excuse me. So I feel like some of you um, might... Um, you're on the brink of, of actually calling it quits, either on a relationship or possibly a business here is what I'm seeing, okay? So I'm going to move on now to the oracle cards. Uh, the first card is the masculine angel. So... I'm feeling bad because I feel like the reading started out so good with a new beginning, but it might be for some of you that this ending has to happen before this new beginning starts, okay? But there's some situation I feel here that you're trying to decide whether to put an end to it or not, okay? All right, so the first um, two cards that came out from the Romance Angels um, divine timing is at work in your love light worth waiting for, okay? So I feel for some of you, I feel if you don't have somebody in your life, your angels are saying that it's worth waiting for. And then the next card that came out is playfulness. So I feel here they're saying, um, <clears throat> you know, definitely wait for the right person to come along, okay? Because I feel here, if you do, the two of you are really going to enjoy your company, okay? Here with the playfulness card. For others, um, you know, who are on the brink of deciding, you know, whether you want this person in your life or not, um, your angels are saying this person's worth waiting for, okay? So if you're tired of waiting, um, you might want to rethink it, okay? Because I, I feel here with the playfulness card, they um, are missing you, okay? So... This also can be about, you know, this person may actually work a lot, okay, here with the emperor. Um, and that's why you're feeling really focused or maybe feel a little sad or down about the situation, okay? So um, just take that message how it resonates with you. So the next two cards are from the Angel Answer Deck. Uh, one is get more information, okay? So whether this is about career or this is about a relationship, I feel here your angels are saying um, get more information before you make a decision, okay? Before you do something very, very sudden here with the tower, okay? So I feel, you know, you just, you know, weigh all your facts and your options, okay? Because I feel here there's a lot of options, okay? You or this person. Somebody has a lot of options. So I feel here your angels are, you know, telling you to evaluate everything, get more information. Second card that came out is ask for help from others, okay? So don't be afraid to ask for help from family and friends, okay? 
especially here if you are the maternal mother and um, you are pregnant, okay? But this card is from your angels saying, don't be afraid to ask for help, okay? Um, you know, actually, I know Virgos like to take it all on themselves and, and they're very independent, okay? So just make sure that <clears throat> you don't forget about that. The next card that came out is from the Lover's Oracle. It says, the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith, okay? So for some of you, you may have already let go of this situation already. And, um, you know, that's where I'm seeing the new beginning here, okay? The next card that came out is a message from Archangel Michael, and his message to you is called Energy Healing Work. And his message to you is, <clears throat> it says here, this card signifies that your present situation would benefit from healing energy, which you can elicit from the angels. Just ask them a qualified energy healer or from your own intentions and energy. So possible meanings to this card, and remember all of these may not apply, so take the ones that do. Take measures to boost your energy and vitality, such as exercising and eating healthfully. Enroll in an energy healing course. Book a session with a qualified healer, a qualified energy healer. Your life purpose involves energy healing work. And if you want to say the prayer with me, it says, try not to get the glare there. Thank you for sending healing energy to me and through me for my own blessings and for all those around me. Thank you for connecting me to loving and high integrity healers and teachers of energy healing modularities. All right. Very nice message there from Archangel Michael. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like, and comment. I appreciate it. I'm going to move on now to the second stack for those of you who chose the baby angel. All right. So the first card that came out, um, the signs are cautioning you. Pay attention to the red flags. Okay. So there, um, this person you know, in the past may have done some things that are questioning or making you doubt the relationship, okay? And that's why you're in this mode of trying to make a decision here, but you haven't done anything yet, okay, for some of you. So this is your angel saying just, you know, it, this could be with business too if, it, if the situation um, is not love for you, okay? But this is about you know, not going into anything blindly, okay? This is about pulling away the veil here and making sure you see ahead of you, okay? Make sure the person in your life, their um, actions are matching their words, okay? So I feel here your angels are saying, listen closely to this person um, and watch their actions, okay? Because there may have been some distrust in the past, Okay, or maybe not, maybe nothing has come up, but this is a sign for you to watch, okay? The next card came out, work on your par partnership, give your relationship a chance, okay? So that last card's gonna apply to those of you who wanna work on um, the relationship with this person. Okay, the next two cards that came out <clears throat> is the yes card and, ooh, within the next few months. So your angels are saying here, if there's a question that you had, okay, then the answer is yes, okay? And specifically, if you asked a, a question about timing, um, here it is within the next few months, okay? So the situation um, is going to progress over the next few months here. Okay, the next card that came out is a message from, um, it's from the Lover's Oracle deck, okay, and it's called Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges here, okay? All right, and the next card is a message from Archangel Michael, 
And remember, this doesn't always have to be in love. This can be any area of your life for this message. But the message that came out is called Positive Thoughts Create Positive Results. This is one of my favorite cards because uh, it's just so colorful and beautiful. This situation calls for uplifting thoughts, which are the magic ingredients you've been looking for. Although you may protest that you already have a positive mindset, Archangel Michael advises you to purge your thoughts and speech of any worries or other negativity that could diminish your manifestations. Michael says that you can tell how constructive your thoughts are by paying attention to recent events in your life, as there is a direct correlation between positive thoughts and positive results. He'll help, help buoy your spirits to a truly beneficial level so that your experiences are happy and welcome. So possible specific meanings to this card are, and remember all of these may not apply, so take the ones that do, adopt a daily or hourly practice of saying positive affirmations, read a book or take a class on positive affirmations, avoid blaming yourself or others, Instead, focus on solutions. Rather than worrying about something, pray and practice a loving, compassionate state of mind. Okay? And if you want to say the prayer with me, it says, Divine love and wisdom, I call upon you now. I know that my mind and emotions are eternally and continuously connected to you. I ask my higher self to be aware and conscious of the love and the light that is within every person and situation. Okay, beautiful message there from Archangel Michael. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like, and comment. I appreciate it. I'm going to move on now to the feminine angel. Okay. All right. So the first two cards are from the Romance Angels. Okay. So... I feel here that um, two things here. This person does want to express their love to you, okay? Um, secondly, this person, um, there may be codependency issues, okay? So this can be a, a couple of things here. This person, um, you and this person may have a relationship where it's codependent. Okay, if that does not apply to you, this can be about addictions, okay, where um, somebody here in the relationship or connection has some addictions, okay. So, um, you know, like I said in the reading, I felt here with the emperor that there's somebody in your life who may um, not be able to express how they feel, okay, they may not... Um, verbally say it but here if, with the romance angels I feel like they definitely want to okay and this may be you Virgo you remember roles can be reversed as well okay the next two cards that came out are from the the um, angel answer deck we have the situation will improve and helpful people okay so I feel here that your angels are guiding you um, guiding you uh, to the light to see, um, to be hopeful, to be positive. Um, you know, they're letting you know that things are going to improve here, okay? If you have been having some doubt or feeling down, they're saying the situation's going to improve, okay? And there are going to be people around you that are going to help you, okay? And, and I always say with this card, I feel the angels are saying here that it's not only going to be people that you know, but it's going to be people that you don't know who are strangers and they're going to randomly assist you. It will be divinely guided and you will know when it happens. Okay. All right. The next cards from the lovers Oracle. This card says someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on secret admirer. Okay. So this may be for the people that don't have someone in their life or someone is wanting a new start um, but you may have a secret admirer this might be like I said the person that is having a hard time expressing how they feel to you as well 
All right, and then the last message is a message from Archangel Michael. Remember this um, does not have to be about love, about love, but this one actually is about love because it's called eternal love. All right, so this card says, it's a glare on here. This card says, You're drawn, you've drawn this card because someone is sending you love at this moment. The first person you think about is the one who's holding these loving thoughts about you. Perhaps you've been worried about a relationship, and this symbolizes Archangel Michael's reassurance that all is well. The angels are watching over your loved one, as well as helping you with your relationships. <clears throat> and possible meanings to this card, and remember, all of these may not apply, so take the ones that do. You'll encounter a soulmate relationship. Your loved one is in heaven and is sending you an I love you message. God and the angels love you very much. Know that you're a lovable person even if someone isn't behaving lovingly towards you. An ex-lover will come back into your life. Okay. And if you want to say the prayer with me, it says, Help me perceive all of the love that surrounds me so that I can feel safe receiving, expressing, and giving love okay beautiful message there definitely in this reading I feel here someone's having a really hard time expressing their love um, to the other person here all right I hope you enjoyed this reading if you did please subscribe like and comment I appreciate it I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the morning or evening and I'm sending you angel love